Sleep disorders in children. What is sleep disorders in children? Diagnosis. Treatment. Sleep disorders in children and infants are a widespread phenomenon, and there are many different types. Types of sleep disorders in children. There are many sleep disorders in children. Here are the most prominent. 1. Parasomnia. It is one of the widespread sleep problems in children and almost everyone goes through, and it is a physical, motor, and psychological phenomena that occur during sleep at an inappropriate time, such as talking, screaming during sleep, walking, sudden movements of the legs, or muscle contractions, or night terrors, or nightmares. Sleepwalking. Walking during sleep is considered a benign phenomenon and it can be reflected in the person getting out of his bed and roaming around the house, and he can eat and drink and in some cases may even leave the house, and all of this happens during sleep. This phenomenon is common and appears in about 15% of children starting at the age of 4, and it often disappears on its own with age. The danger in this sleep disorder lies in the injuries that the child may receive as a result of these behaviors during his sleep, such as falling, touching sharp objects, hitting doors, and glass, or other dangers that sometimes require special measures to be taken with caution inside the home. Sleep talking, as for the phenomenon of talking during sleep, it is one of the common sleep disorders as well, and it occurs in 10% of children, and the previous one disappears automatically with time. Night terrors, it is one of the common types of parasomnia sleep disorder, in which the child explodes with screaming or crying during deep sleep without him being aware of what is happening to him or what is happening in his surroundings, and it is difficult to calm the child in these cases, and the next morning the child does not remember what had happened to him while he was sleeping. Nightmares, there is a similar phenomenon in terms of behavior, but it differs in terms of the process that occurs in the brain, which is the phenomenon of waking up with fright after seeing nightmares. Recall it, and the child is aware of what is happening around him when he feels panic, which continues even after waking up from sleep. Most of the phenomena of sleep disorders of the type of parasomnia in children disappear automatically with age without receiving any kind of treatment, except in certain cases that require drug therapy. 2. Dysomnia sleep disorders of this type are related to the number of hours of sleep, but in general are the loss of the ability to sleep in continuous dozing, or vice versa, which is excessive sleep with fatigue. An acute example of hypersomnia is narcolepsy, meaning that you fall into a sudden, uncontrollable sleep for a short period of time or for several hours. The body functions according to a biological clock appropriate to the hours of light and darkness, and the internal biological clock may become disturbed in cases where a person travels long distances across continents. This phenomenon is called jet lag, and this sleep disturbance also occurs in workers who keep shifts nocturnal. These sleep disturbances are considered normal and transient, but there are cases in which a spontaneous reversal of the biological clock occurs. For example, for some children with this sleep disorder who consider one or two hours before dawn to be no different from nine in the evening, and they cannot sleep before morning sunrise, these it is difficult for children to get up in the morning, because getting up at seven in the morning for them is like four in the morning for other children. The opposite situation is considered rare in children in common in adults, who sleep very early at six or seven in the evening, and wake up at four or five in the morning. 3. Sleep apnea sleep may be punctuated by a depression in respiration that can amount to apnea due to physiological changes during sleep. Types of sleep apnea The sleep disorder includes two types. 1. Central sleep apnea It is an interruption in breathing without trying to breathe again. This phenomenon is common among infants and accompanies other diseases. Usually, the duration of interruption of breathing for short moments is not important, but in some cases it may cause a serious problem. 2. Obstructive sleep apnea This phenomenon usually occurs in children between the ages of 3 to 7 years. The main cause of this phenomenon is due to obstruction of the airway in the posterior nose and pharynx area due to swelling of the tonsils, or adenoids. The phenomenon spreads among infants, especially those who suffer from a facial deformity. Risk factors The risk group for apnea includes children with neuropathy, children with hypotonia, as well as children who are obese. Obesity which is the main cause of sleep apnea in adults, has extended to 10 years of age. Sleep apnea results. Immediate consequences of a sleep disorder of this type include intermittent drop in the level of oxygen in the blood, which causes intermittent lack of oxygen in the organs and brain. Decreased ventilation of the lungs, i.e. a decrease in the amount of air that reaches the lungs, resulting in the accumulation of carbon dioxide, CO2. Disturbance of sleep in which some stages of healthy sleep are reduced to less than the minimum necessary for healthy sleep. 
The quality of sleep in children with episodes of sleep apnea is low, as it happens that the child sleeps for 10 hours, but in terms of how he slept only 5 hours, and in the other 5 hours he sleeps at a superficial level accompanied by many awakenings that he is not aware of, and the result is a lack of sleep. Children with this syndrome snore frequently, but not every child who snores necessarily suffers from sleep apnea. Between 8 to 10 percent of healthy children snore, but only 2 to 3 percent of them have obstructive sleep apnea syndrome. It is worth distinguishing between normal, harmless snoring, and snoring that indicates obstruction of the airways during sleep, in which case apnea may harm the child. Complications of sleep apnea, in addition to snoring, clinical symptoms of sleep disturbances and sleep apnea include sleeping with an open mouth, breathing through the mouth, make an effort to breathe while you sleep. Apnea and some severe cases, the child makes an effort to breathe, which leads to sweating due to exertion. Tendency to move and sway while sleeping. Sleeping in unusual positions, waking up frequently, and sleeping is not restful for him. Sleep disturbances and interrupted and ineffective sleep, especially if accompanied by intermittent drop in the level of oxygen in the blood, may affect daytime functioning. Adults who suffer from sleep disturbance tend to get tired during the day, and it has become clear in recent years that the behaviors of children with this syndrome may be significantly affected, in addition to their achievement and ability to achieve. Complications of sleep apnea If sleep disturbances continue without treatment, they can cause damage, including disturbance in the ability to concentrate. The ability to pay attention is impaired. Restlessness Memory damage Low marks in IQ exams Low academic achievement Behavioral disorders similar to those in children with ADHD, with and without ADHD. These behaviors include hyperactivity, impulsiveness, difficulty in forming social relationships, aggressive behavior and a wide range of learning difficulties. Obstructive sleep apnea in infants and children can lead to impaired growth and development and, in some extreme cases, heart damage. Diagnosis of sleep disorders in children. It is very difficult to diagnose the syndrome in a doctor's office, and snoring during sleep is not a sufficient indication. Diagnostic aids include sleep laboratory tests, which help confirm the syndrome, determine its severity, and guide the patient toward the correct treatment. Today, there are specialized centers for sleep disorders in children, including advanced sleep laboratories, multidisciplinary staff, qualified for diagnosis and treatment. It is recommended that examinations of children with sleep disorders be carried out in sleep laboratories specially prepared and suitable for children. Treatment of sleep disorders in children. Treatment is based on the following methods. 1. Surgical treatment. The primary treatment of sleep disorders in children is based on surgical procedures, excision of tonsils and swollen adenoids. Although it is a simple surgery, it is not without risks. So the decision to go for surgery should be preceded by deep thinking and taking all the examinations into consideration. The central difficulty in diagnosing these disorders is that the diagnosis is made when children are awake and appear to be completely healthy. 2. Provide the patient with oxygen. In cases where surgery does not help, oxygen can be added during sleep, and ventilators using continuous positive pressure, CPAP, may be used. 3. Treatment of sleep disorders. In these sleep disorders, the biological clock is shifted forward, and it is possible to treat these cases in several ways. The main way to adjust the biological clock is by exposure to strong light daily in the early morning hours for half an hour. It is sometimes difficult to apply this treatment method and therefore the hormone melatonin is received. Melatonin, as an additive to treatment.